Hi everybody, this is going to be our video tutorial for our personalized C collage. Okay, so if you chose the one with your name in the center or you know something like welcome, this is the video you should be following. First, first things first, we're going to get our area ready and we're going to you want to work on a flat surface. You want to make sure to put some plastic down or you know some newspaper, something to protect your area. And then just start unpacking your goodies. We have in the bag, you'll find a cup labeled one and two, and then your resin and your hardener also labeled with a one and two. And what you'll do is just, you'll take the top off and you'll dump bottle one into cup number one and you'll dump bottle two into cup number two. You want to try and get out as much as you can. Just check out your cups and make sure they're even. If you have to play around with them a little bit, dump a little bit out of one of them to even them up, that is fine. You have enough to kind of spare a little. Right? But you do want them to be even. That's why we have these measured cups. And whenever I get a package, I just love kind of, you know, unpacking it, see what's inside. <laughs> we have some gloves here. We have these four cups. I'm going to put out and this is going to hold our frame up so I'll grab my frame whether you picked a white or a sand colored frame you're going to get those cups underneath your frame make sure all four cups are underneath the glass part of the frame not the actual frame okay this is going to prevent any like any resin from making this frame stick to the table and um, it also just gives us a better look at what we're doing here up on these cups. All right, so we have a large popsicle stick, a couple small ones. We have these little baby starfish. We have some glitter. We have four starfish, too big, too small. We have some crushed glass. Crush, crushed mirror, I'm sorry. And then in here we have some just assorted small shells. And then we have these really fun crushed shells. They're, they're blue. And then these are crushed even more, so like a smaller version of the crushed blue. Okay, and then in the bottom of my little bin I have these little glass, clear glass gems. Okay, I can keep those right there. All right, so let's get our resin or hardener poured into our cups and make sure they're even. You can get your gloves on and that's where we'll begin. Your kit, since this is the personalized style, you'll find your vinyl letters, whether it's your family name, a welcome sign, or something like this. This is a little bit a Christmas beachy kind of thing, C's and greetings. It doesn't matter what it says, we're all gonna have the same process here. This has three pieces here, so the back is this white paper and then on top is this clear plastic. In the middle is our lettering, which is the vinyl that is gonna stick right onto our glass. So before we do any of this resin or work with our shells, our lettering is gonna go on our frame. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is just put our, flip our words face down and just give it a quick rub, make sure everything's nice and flat. Okay, the goal here is to get the, the white paper off the back. So you could work on the table. I'm working on my glass just so you could see. Just on a nice flat surface. So again, letters face down. And I'm peeling back only my white paper. I'm trying to remove my white paper. Okay, so I can anchor myself here and you'll feel it's very sticky, the plastic. You want to give it some pressure and we're making sure that all of that lettering minus silver whatever color yours is is um, it depends on what you ordered um, you want to just make sure that letter stays flat on that top plastic layer so I have my silver lettering staying flat if it tries to come with my white paper I need to just place it back down. So you want to go nice and slow to just keep an eye on everything and make sure nothing's trying to come with you. And it will. 
If you could see here, here's a little piece of my G trying to come with me and I just need to press it back down. Now to press it back down, I wanna to try to avoid touching my letter with my bare finger. I'm just pressing it back, giving it pressure over that white paper. Okay, so nice and flat, nice and slow, making sure everything's staying on that top piece. All right. My white paper came off nice and clean. That means we did a good job. You can kind of toss that to the side. Now I have my little message here. I want to get it in the middle. Okay, I'm going to just eye it out. You don't want this to touch the glass until you're ready to set it down. Okay, so this is about centered. So I put mine down and take my fingers and just smooth it down. Okay, just a nice light pressure. And then you could take that stick, the, big, the large popsicle stick, and still with a light pressure, just smoothing everything down. Make sure all these letters get a little rub because when we pull this clear plastic layer up we want all of our letters to stay on our glass obviously all right I'm still gonna go nice and slow in case they try and come with me but by rubbing them down with the popsicle stick should stay in place. All right, let's see. All right, very nice, very sticky. Get this out of your way. Okay, now it's time to mix our resin. So we're gonna use our large popsicle stick to do the stirring. Again, we poured bottle number one into cup number one, bottle number two into cup number two. And now we're gonna pour cup number two right into cup number one. So two into one, hardener into resin. I'm gonna try and get all of that hardener into the cup of resin. Once you're done pouring, you can take that stick and scrape the excess into the cup. Don't drive yourself crazy, but you know, try and get out what's in there. All right, so I have my hardener into my resin cup, and then I'm gonna set a timer for three minutes. You should set a timer as well. And I'm mixing, 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 mixing for the entire three minutes. You wanna try and keep a nice steady stir, steady pace, not too slow, not too fast. What you'll see when you start is it starts to look really cloudy, marbly, almost like silvery. And by mixing, that's gonna go away. So I'm gonna to continue to mix, mix, mix for the three minutes. You'll see it changing. Make sure you're getting that stick down into the bottom of the cup. Scrape the sides of the cup every so often. Give your hand a quick shake if you have to. But continue to mix for the three minutes. You will start to see some bubbles. They, they scare people, but they're nothing to worry about. Once the bubbles, once the resin's poured onto the frame, the bubbles will dissipate. Okay, so don't let them bother you. Let's get that resin mixed and after three minutes we'll stop stirring. So my timer went off, my resin is mixed. You'll see it changed a lot from the beginning. You don't see that streaky, metallic-y look anymore. It's nice and clear. There are some bubbles, but like I said, they go away. So 
So since this has a message on the inside, we're not going to add any color to our resin. If you did, you wouldn't be able to see this as clearly. So if you saw videos from other projects or you've been to some of our classes, you might remember we added some color to some projects, but this one we like to keep clear. Okay, so I'm just going to pour this onto my glass. Could be a little scary, but just think of it like cake batter. Makes it a little less scary, don't you think? Okay, so poured most of it out. Now I'm gonna scrape what's left in there. Get all that out of there. And then with my stick, I'm going to just move it around the frame, getting it in all of those edges. You'll see some streaky lines forming when you use a stick, but those will go away as well. All right, perfect. So I have resin on my entire frame and it's meeting all of my edges and that's what you guys want to have done too. So now we're going to start laying down our shells. Okay, so I'm going to start with my crushed mirror and of course we want to stay away from the center because we have a message to read in the middle. So just start with a little bit and build it up as you go. I guess you could say I'm working from like the smallest items to the largest being last. Just seems to work out the best. So I'm just kind of giving it a border, filling in those corners. And you have plenty of time here. The resin does start to thicken up as, as you start working and eventually hardens after curing for three days. Um, but as you're working here, you have, you have plenty of time. I mean, this isn't a really detailed one because we're just working on our border. So it shouldn't take you more than 30 minutes. And you really have a little bit more time than that anyway. So there's no rush. Have fun with it. If you have anything of your own, you'd like to add to your piece you can if you have any seashells or sand from somewhere special or anything you found on the beach can be put in here as long as it's not porous shells and rocks are not porous something like a starfish or a sand dollar maybe from that you may have found somewhere yourself needs to be sealed before it can be added to your piece so you could seal it with like a Mod Podge or a, cl a clear craft spray. You'd have to do that before adding it. Someone asked me if they could add pictures to resin and it can be done as long as it's laminated. Okay, because anything you put in here would absorb if it was porous. Okay, so here's my, just my crushed mirror around here. It looks really nice. You could even just leave it like that. All right, so looking good. I like it already. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of this, the, the smaller crushed blue. And I'm not gonna put as much of this because I don't wanna take, you know, I still wanna see my crushed mirror. If anything is out of place or you want to 
move it like perfect example here one guy slipped out of my hands I could take my popsicle stick and just scoot it over any streaky lines will settle back down if you notice when you're working if there's resin floating to one side or the other you might want to adjust your cups maybe check your surface make sure it's nice and flat Even if you're trying to follow along with exactly what I'm doing here, they're always going to come out different every time. So no matter what you say, no matter what you think, impossible to match one exactly. But that's the fun of it. So now I'm adding the, the bigger crushed blues. little spill. Okay, so you're going to add as much of this as you want. Really can't go wrong. Keeping my center nice and clear. Totally up to you how much you're going to use here. And I still have plenty of my crushed mirror, so if I wanted to go back and maybe put a little more of that on, why not? The crushed mirror is kind of like sparkle to me. Love it, love it, love it. Never enough. All right, so then when you're ready, for the bigger things. These are kind of like accent pieces. Ooh, one fell right on the frame. And you know what? I don't hate where it landed. If I wanted to move it, I totally could, but maybe I'll leave it. So these you might want to place a little more strategically. Wedging them in a little bit. As long as they're catching a little bit of that resin, they're going to stick. Maybe we want to move him. Hmm, maybe here. We have a couple more. Okay, anywhere you put him is fine. And then I have my favorite, these little baby starfish. They're really delicate, so be careful with them. They're just easy to break, you know, even just like the slight squish of your fingers could knock a leg off. All right, you can add these wherever you like, maybe put these more like closer to your center. Love these little guys. And you might not need them all. This one missing a little head. Maybe I won't use him, poor thing. But even some, like, some broken ones kind of add some character because it makes it look like it's really from our reach. Things happen, you know? All right. Very cute. I'm liking it. Now, this looks, to me, awesome how it is. Like I said, I liked it with just the first step with the just the crushed mirror around it, but... My finishing touch is always a little glitter. I'll put that down and then I'll put on my big starfish. Now this is up to you. You do not have to add this. Very pretty. Love it, love it, love it, love it. And then our big guys. So. Where you want to place these is also up to you. You have 
two big ones, two small ones. Remember, when you're placing this, if you have to move other things around, you can. If it gets on your hand, it's not going to hurt your hand. It just feels a little sticky. Alright. Maybe you only want one starfish. Maybe two, maybe three. It's your piece. Oop, I'm going to cover my letter. Hmm. Right. Okay, so I don't think I'm going to use my fourth one. You can if you want to. This is my finished product. Looking good. What do you think? The only thing left to do would be check out your your resin. Make sure there's no bubbles in the clear areas that are bothering you. Um, you can't zap away any bubbles in the areas where you have shells, but you can't. I don't see any in my shell areas ever anyway. So this is a torch, but you might, you guys probably have like a lighter or one of those torch lighters at home. As soon as these bubbles feel a little heat, they just zap away. It's amazing. So I don't really have any here to show you, but you would just give it a quick zap with a flame. Seems a little crazy, right? But it does the trick and it's, it's really easy. So any bubbles, just zap them out. Clean up your frame with a wet paper towel or a baby wipe. And like I mentioned before, this needs to sit somewhere flat and safe away from pets and children for 72 hours. The best thing to do is to cover it. Even if it's in a safe place, you want to keep it free from dust and everything. So I have this, this Tupperware container, maybe have like a hamper or something like Similar to that that you can just put over top or another idea is putting four cups around the, the frame and then laying a baking sheet so that's close enough that, you know, hopefully no dust would get on it. All right, so 72 hours. Please share your finished products and have a great time. Thanks so much.